What's going on guys? There is a big new problem in the market. It is these new 2022 and newer hybrid Tundras. A lot of guys are coming to us and asking, well, how am I gonna get power from my accessories to my batteries back in the back seat? Well, here at SDHQ, we have developed our new 2022 and newer hybrid power solutions kit. I brought Garrett, one of our engineers, out into the shop. This is a big, extensive kit. We wanted to make sure that you guys understood what you were getting with a kit of this size. Garrett, let's start at that end of the table. Tell me what we got. All right, so first, we've got our C2 billet battery terminal kit that we all know and love. You've got your negative and positive terminal on there. That'll be ran under the hood for your main power connection. Second here, we've got a singular positive terminal. This will be used under the battery under the rear seat. Unfortunately, our negative terminal will not fit, but what this allows us to do is we provide a 500 amp fuse so that you keep your circuit isolated from the rest of your factory system. So whether you have a wind short circuit or lights go out or something like that, it'll make sure your factory vehicle stays safe. Awesome. From there, we run into our actual terminal mount as well as our power module mount for something like Switch Pro, or actually in this case, we've gone and added on the Garmin power switch as well to this mounting. Cool. Um, there's even a variety of other mounting solutions along the front of the mount here. So if you find anything else that'll work on there and you'd like to mount it, feel free to run that with ours. Um, this will come with three billet spacers as well as our powder or our anodized aluminum mount. Awesome. Next, we've got a big old bag of hardware. What do we got going on there? Yes, so this is gonna be our main hardware pack for the actual power solution kit itself. It comes with our copper core pass-throughs, our cable glands, as well as any other uh, cable covers to make sure your system is isolated throughout the whole run and make sure it's staying nice and sealed when installing it across the product. Awesome. And I'm seeing a few templates. Do we got some drilling we gotta do? Yes, so in order to install these copper pass-throughs, we actually have a couple templates here. We're gonna have one in the footwell and then one in the engine bay near the firewall. Um, for drilling these, we do offer a tool kit here. It provides the dual sizes of hole saws that you're going to need, as well as the two different sizes of drill bits. Don't worry if you have these kits at home, this will be an add-on package. So you don't need to buy it if you have them at home. If you need it, go ahead and add it on to your accessories. Sweet. And then we've got a little bag here with some cool copper pieces. What do I got going on here? Yeah, so this is going to be our CP1 kit. This allows you to run uh, normal studs on top of your copper gland passers. So then you can mount your our C2 terminals under your engine bay and it'll keep a nice clean look throughout the whole install. Sweet. And last but not least, we've got quite a big bag of wiring here. Garrett, what do I've got going on here? So this is actually our special ordered in dual jacket one knot cable. Um, it is actually very flexible when compared to others. Over here on the right, we have a single, single jacketed cable. It's very stiff and it holds position when you're installing it. Ours is shown here. We've gone ahead and stripped back our first layer jacket as well as our second layer jacket and it even provides more flexibility and will stay flexible when installing the wire. And with those two jackets, do I need to loom this thing? Do no. I need to add anything? You feel free to run a loom if you want. We do not see the need to add looming when we have our dual jacketed wires like that. And so you can be comfortable and rest easy knowing that you won't have any shorts along the way. Awesome. All right, guys, that is the layout of the parts. Now let's go look at a truck behind us and look at all this in action. All right, now that we're under the hood of our Tundra, let's take a look at this kit fully set up. Garrett, tell me what we got. In front of us, we've got, we've got a fully loaded power solution mount that we offered for these hybrid tundras. Now, Gary, am I only going to be using this to mount a light controller? No, actually what this power solution kit does is it relocates terminals under the hood of your vehicle. Without it, your terminals will be under the rear. And every accessory adding on, such as winches, lights, or air compressors, you'd have to be running the same route that we do with this kit and for every accessory you're adding to your vehicle. It makes it simple install and a lot less wiring later down the line with building your, your vehicle. First, you'll see our billet risers here, CNC billet risers made in-house, as well as our anodized aluminum mount. Um, on the front, we have our Switch Pro system mounted up on here, but you also feel free to run anything like Garmin power switches or any other accessories that you find add to our multitude of bolt-on locations on the front of this mount. Up at the top, we come back to our well-known billet, billet battery terminals. What I'm removing at the top here is our SDHQ terminal boots. This prevents you from shorting out when you're adding accessories, maybe tightening down lugs and stuff like that. Just keeps you safer when working around electronics. Speaking of safety, I know that our pass-throughs are a big part of this kit. Tell me about those. Yes, yeah, so what we've included in this kit are gonna be copper core pass-throughs. A lot of other people that are trying to solve this solution are just running wires straight through their actual body of their Tundra, which gives you a lot of risk for splitting wires, short circuiting, and maybe even a final cause of electrical fires and stuff like that. Um, what these do is it mounts right in the hole and keeps a, a broken circuit, so you just bolt your wire to the back side on either side and you have a nice safe pass through of your vehicle. Awesome. Let's use that to pass on through to the back of the vehicle and see what it looks like back there. All right, we've made it to the back seat of our Tundra. I'm gonna get out of the way and let Garrett show you what we got going on underneath the seat. So coming back to the battery where we're getting all our power from, we're running a single billet positive terminal 
what this does is it enables us to run our 500 amp fuse kit to isolate the system in case you have any sort of short circuits with your winch or lights or anything up front goes wrong. This will keep your vehicle electrical system safe and isolated. From there, we run our one knot positive cable and our one knot negative cable. They come out the side and they run up the side of the vehicle all the way up to the passers in the front where it'll jump through the copper cores and then we'll go back up to the power solution now under the engine bay. And there it is. There's a look at our complete power solutions kit for the new 22 and newer hybrid Tundra. If you guys have any questions on this kit, head on over to our website or reach out to us at help at sdhqoffroad.com. And don't you worry, hybrid Sequoia guys, we got something coming for you too. Thanks Garrett for coming out and going over the nitty gritty with us. Like always guys, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.